Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, congenital arterial hyperplasia which was asked in various examinations. To know this, uh, we have to know some uh, functions of arterial gland. From cholesterol, we get uh, aldosterone uh, which is a mineralocorticoid. This occurs in uh, zona glomerulosa. And that and from the cholesterol we also get cortisol which is called as glucocorticoid this uh, occurs in zona fasciculata and we also get sex hormones from cholesterol in zona reticularis area of adrenal gland these are the hormones we get from cholesterol coming to the uh, important flow chart to understand uh, the cholesterol cortisol synthesis from cholesterol. Cholesterol gets converted into pregnenolone by an enzyme called cholesterol desmolase. This is under the influence of ACTH hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone. A, a negative feedback from decreased cortisol uh, induces this reaction. From this pregnenolone we get progesterone through 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. And from pregnenolone we get 7-hydroxy pregnenolone and from progesterone we get 7-hydroxy progesterone and both these reactions are uh, catalyzed by an enzyme called 17-alpha hydroxylase. This is one of the important enzyme and this catalyzes these both reactions. And progesterone gets converted into 11 deoxycorticosterone whereas 17 hydroxy progesterone converted into 11 deoxycortisol and both these reactions are catalyzed by 21 hydroxylase this is the most important enzyme uh, in which its deficiency causes congenital adrenal hyperplasia from 11 deoxycorticosterone we get corticosterone and we get cortisol from 11 deoxycortisol and these both things uh, are catalyzed by 11 beta hydroxylase from corticosterone we get aldosterone from aldosterone synthase which is a mineralocorticoid as i already discussed this occurs in uh, aldosterone <coughs> forms in zona glomerulosa cortisol forms in zona fasciculata we, we now completed all the this thing and we are going to uh, know how sex hormones are formed <coughs> yeah from 17 hydroxy pregnenolone we get dihydro epiandrostinidione and from 17 hydroxy progesterone we get androstenedione this both reactions and the first reaction pregnenolone progesterone these all three reactions are catalyzed by 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase enzyme this is also most important enzyme its deficiency uh, from androstenedione we get estrogen through a process called aromatization, we get an estrogen from androstenedione in peripheral tissues. In peripheral, that is like adipose tissues. In adipose tissue, we get estrogen through aromatization. Testosterone also gets converted into dihydrotestosterone, which is a potent testosterone through 5 alpha reductase. This also occurs in peripheral tissue. These both occurs in adipose tissue. All these reactions occurs in uh, uh, zona reticularis. All these reactions occur in zona reticularis. Yeah, coming to the deficiencies, 21 hydroxylase. This is the most common enzyme deficiency which causes uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. As a result, no cortisol will be formed. Hence, the, through negative feedback, ACTH production will be increased and other pathways gets, gets activated, thus producing 
hyper androgenism english testosterone or increased estrogen will be produced this is the and 17 alpha hydroxyl is also another enzyme uh, 11 beta hydroxyl is also deficiency also causes adrenal hyper congenital adrenal hyperplasia 21 uh, hydroxylase is 95% of the congenital adrenal hyperplasia are, are by this uh, enzyme deficiency and it is autosomal recessive in as a result no aldosterone no cortisol hence cortisol and aldosterone are decreased in uh, uh, 21 hydroxylase deficiency there will be increased in androgen production due to increased uh, adrenocorticotropic hormone action and this results in males precocious puberty occurs uh, the male uh, child attains pu puberty uh, less than 10 years old. Due to it, there is a decrease in aldosterone, potassium levels will be increased. Hyperkalemia will occur. In females, virilization occurs. Virilization means uh, this is due to increased testosterone uh, contents in female. Uh, that is um, excessive hair production like that thing. As a result of sound in hydroxide deficiency, testosterone is not formed. 17 alpha hydroxide deficiency. This pathway is not affected, which uh, aldosterone uh, pathway is not affected, and remaining cortisol and testosterone pathways are affected. Uh, this, uh, this is, and hence we get from this we get in sounding alpha hydroxyl deficiency, aldosterone is present. Cortisol and androstion, androstenedione are decreased in this condition. As a result, potassium decreases and BP increases in this patient. In males. Pseudo hermaphroditism like uh, undescendant testes uh, that is ambiguous genitalia can be seen. And in females, lack of secondary sexual characters as there is no androstenedion or no androgen production. Cortisol decreases in all and adrenocorticotropic hormone increases in all. This causes enlargement in adrenal gland. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. Please subscribe my channel for regular updates. And also uh, like the page in Facebook, which is uh, fb.com free medical coaching. Thank you. Have a nice day.